It's the best ride in town. People simulate flying jets to roller coasters. It's similar, but it's not the same. Thanks, guys. Lieutenant Craig Olson is number seven of the Blue Angels. Well, luckily, I don't drive like I fly, or I get a few speed tickets. For Olson, he's living a childhood dream. Yeah, I was probably, I don't know, eight, nine years old, and uh, I'm from Seattle area, and they came up and they did an air show over Lake Washington up there, and I was hooked from then on. The Blue Angels mission worked on him, and now as a lieutenant, he's returning the favor. That's by performing across the country, persuading others to join the military. It's probably the most cost-effective means of recruitment that there is. You can imagine trying to put a commercial on during the Super Bowl and the cost that would incur. What we do is put on an air show in different cities all over the country, and uh, it's kind of unquantifiable how much of a reach we have. The pilots can reach altitudes in a matter of seconds with pull-ups. They're known for their precision flying, rolls, and flips. And even being the Navy's elite flying team, it's unlikely for them to serve in a war. But if they should be called, they could form into a squadron in less than 24 hours. The jets are certainly capable. We just flip the switch and they're ready to go. The pilots are all trained, although it would take me a little more training to get back up to speed. I don't see it happening. But they do get to see the U.S. in many ways we don't. It does not look like upside down. I don't know. I'll tell you on our way out of here. Or when they come back in April. Michelle Silva, Action 10 News.